defining your general ledger chart of accounts and the automated posting in the software uh, is accomplished through the definitions module by looking at the chart of accounts definition as well as at the GL interface table. The chart of accounts allows you to set up and specify the accounts that you want to use and set up your account structure uh, and the GL interface table allows you to specify which accounts will be used by the software uh, for automatic posting purposes. To define a chart of accounts you have the option to add, modify, or delete an existing account. Uh, you can define your general ledger departments. The software always has a default department called general which by default will contain all of the accounts in your system. You can change a GL account number which again globally changes uh, all of the history at attached to that account. Uh, and finally you can change a detailed account to a general account. This gives you the option if you need if you decide that uh, you want to add sub accounts to an account then you can demote that account from detail to a general uh, and then create new detail accounts under it. When you change a detailed account to a general account it will automatically create one new account underneath the current account uh, which will then contain all of the posting history for that account uh, since the software does not allow you to have uh, postings assigned directly to a general account. Everything has to be posted to a detail account. Let's take a look at the add function. Again, you have an account number. Uh, the account number structure is, uh, is reviewed in the video on setting up your new system and selecting your general ledger chart of account. Uh, but you would enter here the new account number that you want to use, the description of the account, uh, and then specify if it's a credit account or a debit account, uh, as well as if it's a general or a detail account and the department that it falls under. Once you've set up your chart of accounts and, and your structure the way that you want it to be, uh, if you've changed any of the default accounts that the software uses, then you'll need to change your GL interface table. The General Ledger interface table uh, specifies for different functions in the software which General Ledger account those operations will post to. So as you go through the interface table, it will ask you which account you want to use for each of the functions. For example, on the first page, uh, enter the account number that the accounts receivable module should debit when recording sales. Then you would enter the account number that you want to be your default accounts receivable account. You would enter your accounts payable account, uh, as well as on the first page, your checking account. Then you'll notice that the software has several standard accounts. Uh, that you're required to enter for posting. Uh, and as you read through that, it'll, it'll ask you or tell you exactly what account it's looking for in each of those modules. Uh, in order to have your general ledger account set up properly, though, you need to first set up the accounts, define all the accounts that you want, then make sure that your general ledger interface table is set up properly. Uh, when you enter the general ledger interface table function, uh, any interface accounts that are invalid accounts or that are set up incorrectly for some reason, you'll be notified of.